Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival brought to you by Geek Tech Industries. I'm Zlot and we are currently on the Geek Tech Industries Imperial Galactic Survival server. Um, I'm on I'm in the Hidden Sanctuary on Wind at my castle that I'm building. So I think last episode we were working on the outer walls and trying to sort out the the gate towers. Uh, they didn't work out so well because I kept falling into some structural integrity issues using wood all the time and, and I couldn't get the look and feel I wanted for them. So I changed it up. So let's go take a look. So I said I was gonna finish off the wall. I didn't quite finish it off. This is one of the other towers. But um, this is the back wall that looks to the east. So we'll just uh, run down here. Yeah, this is a, a little large. I've, I've textured most of the stuff up. So you can see the theme that I went with is uh, very contemporary. Um, uh, very traditional contemporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of stamina. So I've put in all the stuff needed for the towers to function and be sealed off. So you can see that each tower is individually sealed. Uh, they do have multi stories to them. I have not created any deco to place yet. Um, so you can see over there, I have a couple of towers that, so up there, I have two towers that kind of come together and there's other stuff down there too. I'm going to, I'm going to go down there and show you. So this is the gate house wall here. Uh, we're on top of the the gate. Um, let's go down here. So it's looking pretty good. I, I, I love the textures that I'm using right now. I'm not going to be changing that. Um, I'm using a an off-white for the paint job for... Oh, see, I'm missing stuff here. So let's paint that up. So that was the off-white. Okay. So we come out into the... The uh, courtyard, so to speak. Um, it's big enough to fit a couple of my CVs in it. I made a couple of small hangar bays in the wall here. Uh, you remember I was, I was working on this. Um, I like the look of that. I think it looks, it looks very castle-like. And I, of course I can go crazy with the, with the decor and stuff like that. Now up here, you'll notice the purple lights up there. So let's go take a look at what I've done. I put my, um, HV in here just to see if it would actually fit in these and it just barely I have to lower it down to almost no clearance to get it through, but I got it in here. So here's some hangar, a couple of like, I don't know, guest parking or something. I got to put some lights in here. That's way too dark. So I've been going with the, this theme here. So let's put one above that door. Put one above that door. There we go. Get some lights in here. Put one above that door. And I don't think there's anything down here. No. So there's going to be a lot of like, just big hallways that only have a couple of doors in them that are like connector hallways and whatnot. So there's going to be a lot of space to fill. Um, you can see I've got to texture all this up. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now let's do the floor texturing. Again, I should use my drone. It'll, you'll be able to see better. It's got better lighting anyway. So I'll just the only drawback to the drone, you can't actually hear yourself doing stuff. Oh, well. I don't know if that's a drawback or not. 
Okay, so we've got that floor textured up. Let's do the wall. The walls were the... Uh, so basically any walls that touch dirt get the texture. Um, and these are all... Basically all the concrete walls get, get textured. If they're walls, they get this texture. If they're floor, they get that texture. Um, and if it's concrete, it means that it's... If it's a concrete floor, it's, it's on dirt. It's touching dirt probably or at least there's nothing else other than dirt underneath it might be st stilted up a little bit but so we'll get this all textured up here oh you can see I, I hit my my uh, roof there with this texture which actually is that texture I don't want that texture so we're going to switch that back and it actually changes the color on it too nice okay well that's okay we it looks like we got to recolor this wood here anyway. So let's get this done. Okay, almost. One more. There we go. And we'll fix this texture. So it's that texture. Okay, that's the right texture. Let's go with the paint tool. I was using a, not the lightest brown, but the next step up. It kind of a little bit like cherry wood, I guess. I like it better than the light brown. It it looks it has more like a mahogany sort of look to it um, instead of a pine look. Even though that the board, the texture itself is very piney looking. Um, okay, fine. It's just dark stained pine. Whatever. That's what I cut down anyway. That's what these blocks are made out of all those pine trees down in the valley. Get this textured or painted I should say or stained because it's on wood. I'm not painting it. We're staining it. Okay. And nice. Okay, so that's not bad. It's just a connector hall. Uh, we'll get this painted up here. So that was the gray. That door there, and yeah, we've already got that like that. Okay. Okay, not bad. Get that door. Did we get the um? Is that bay door painted? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So let's. Oops. Let's head on down. So that was two small parking garages. What I mean by small is that's a a six by three, so it doesn't have a lot of overhead height. I can't actually even put my um, uh, it's not even big enough for my SV. So they're just kind of novelty garages for me for guests. So I got this. Um, this is a elevator tower, and I think we should texture this up while we're down here. So. Let's get this done. So we do the floor texture here. Oh, it's much easier to do with the drone. I find it to be a lot faster. You can spin around a lot easier. Okay, we'll get the wall texture in. Oh, I'm not hitting all the entire block. Okay, so what I want to do is apply the to the entire block. I'm not so worried about the floor because you can't see the rest of it anyway, but these I want it to permeate through the to the other side. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Getting there. Getting there. There we are. Oh, let's get the back of the elevator done. And you can see the elevator goes way up. So let's paint this. Get the gray on the door. So that one will get the gray on the elevator shafts. Or the elevators, the elevator pieces, whatever. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going with the medium brown on the wood texture. Okay. Okay. So let's go, let's just go through here really quick and I'll show you what it, this is just kind of an entry room. Um, we haven't textured this up either, so let's get this textured up and painted. So I know you guys probably want to watch me build, but I, I really, as I come across these textures that need to be um, textures and paint jobs that need to be done, I want to take care of it while I'm there at that particular, because the scope of this project is, is starting to really rear its ugly head in the amount of time it's taking and the amount of resources and everything. I knew it was going to be ridiculous, but wow. Um, I haven't even, I'm probably only about halfway through to, I would guesstimate, because we still got the large building up top on the mountaintop to construct. Uh, and then once, once everything's constructed, then we got all the deco and the lighting. Um, that could be a, a huge chore all on its own and, and like room separations and, and, uh, you know, creating like, like living apartments and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's texture this up. A wall texture on there. We're gonna get the floor texture on here. You can see how much better that looks too, eh? Just way, way better. The concrete is just so ugly. Okay, good. This is looking good. This is looking good. Okay, so now we need more lighting. I'm thinking let's do one to either side of the window bays. So we'll do ones there like that and like that. And then that's sufficient lighting for now. We can look at adding, you know what, let's, let's do that one up there too. Uh, let's get this painted. All these windows got to be gray. Okay. That's looking pretty good now. That's looking better. That's looking better. So I'm thinking this room, because it's kind of the reception area, I'm gonna have it to be like a quick little uh, snack bar. So you come in, you grab a, a cold beer or whatever, a snack, cause you're just out doing your stuff. Um, so I might have some coffee and donuts down here type thing. So there'll be uh, probably a fridge, fruit processor, uh, some counters and tables. Um, yeah. So we'll have a little, I guess, cafe, a little cafe, coffee shop. So let's go check out the rest of this. Uh, so that's this little room here, which comes out into the courtyard. This all needs to be textured too. So it just it just comes out onto the wall there. So you notice there's an upstairs there. And that tower, that elevator tower went up to like a room thing. So um Oh that's blue. I was gonna say, why is that not painted? It is. Okay. So let's go check out upstairs really quick. I really want to texture all that, but let's I don't want this video to run on too long uh, with me just showing you guys what I did. Oh, although I do want to, as I see stupid little things like this, no, nope, wrong tool. So I see stupid little things like this. I do want to get this textured. And oh, that's the second floor there. So let's get out here. And we'll get this, Ooh, this is, see I could put another floor in here too, 
Like maybe even a couple more floors and create like, I don't know, some more rooms in here. Um, I mean, realistically, it's not like I'm going to need more rooms. I think right now I just want to get the buildings up so that from the outside it looks completed. And then I can kind of tinker with the insides, um, you know, deco and, and stuff like that, decorations, I should say. Okay, uh, let's drone it up. Okay. So now this will be this texture because it's not actually on the ground. Okay. Okay, let's get this painted. Uh, yeah. And we'll get this textured. Okay. Oh, this door we missed. Oops, not that one. Yeah, go like that. So there's a door there. Really what I need to do is create another floor right where this door is. Let's do that. So let's just add in a floor. So I'm just going to stop it. Come on, right there. Hold my shift, my control down, and then left click, drag the mouse over, and fill the room. There we go. OK. So it's, a, so it's easy to create floors, as you can see. Um, let's paint this up. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. So when you come out, if you step too far, you don't fall to your death. Um, not to say that you might there fall to your death, but at least it's encapsulated down here. Okay, so let's go up there. Did I paint that? That doesn't look painted. Is it? I guess. Okay. Okay. More gray than I thought, but it must be just the lighting. And that's painted. So let's go into here. Uh, so this opens out onto the top of those buildings and, oh, that's, <sighs> that's okay. That's, I'm probably going to pull the roof out anyway and create another floor right there connecting in so I'll just leave those blocks kind of weird that the wood does that when you stretch it past it'll go right through whereas the concrete doesn't seem to do that now it doesn't seem like I'm stretching it past it looks like I'm just getting it to the edge but obviously I'm not so a little buggy putting that down um, okay so this gets us out onto the this floor um, so this is the top of the wooden buildings structure. I guess it's all one building, really. And then you can look down onto that open courtyard area there. Uh, so you'll notice that is all um, cobblestone. So that means that's actually dirt right there. I've, I've leveled that off, uh, dug it down, and flattened it and and paved it same with this area here you can see this is all cobblestone uh, so the dirt the dirt went up quite high the dirt went up to basically the level of the wall right there and i dug it down 
uh, obviously it wasn't very high over in this section so so as we went up in height uh, so as we went up in elevation so did the height of the well of course that makes sense as we went further <laughs> this direction it got higher so I had to dig it out which created the elevator tower for the basement, it created the, a massive tower. But now we have this big, flat, solid deck here uh, to really, I don't know. I mean, it's, we can build a large structure on it because it's all, it's on the ground. So stu structural integrity will not be an issue. It's kind of deceiving that's the ground. It almost looks like this is all one building, but really it's just, it's basically mostly just retaining walls and, uh, and floor <laughs> and pavement. Uh, okay, let's, let's just jump down here. Now I could have taken the elevator. Um, so this area here, I'm thinking I want to create a wall a wood wall that comes out from about like here and goes almost all the way across and then cuts in so basically what i want to do is i want to make a another section coming off the garden which is going to be the cafeteria so i think i want the wall coming off here so let's I'm, I'm going to starve here. Let's go into my fridge. I've got a fridge down in the workshop with some food. So that's what I've been eating. I've been going through a lot of the cans. I'm going to have to go up to the supply depot soon and make some more canned veggies and um, grow plots, I think. So what do I got? I mean, not very many doors or elevator blocks left. That's okay. Uh, how's our windows? We got almost none. So let's go into our builder constructor. And I made a hundred, so we're good. Okay. We're good. So let's get those over there. Okay, so let's get this up. I should be fine right where I'm standing. So if I go up. Um, now the reason I want a bit of a gap here is because I want this to be actually a patio veranda deck for people to come out and eat their and eat on if you know if the weather's nice and if it's not like 40 below and if it's only 20 below you can go outside and eat right you know right. See it's 30 below right now so. A little too cold. Anyway, um, let's get this wall up. So I'm thinking maybe one more back, like there. Yeah. So let's get that up to there. So I want to drag this. I'm going to punch holes through it for windows and doors, but I just want to get the the bulk of it up. Gonna be long enough. Now let's do it a little bit more. Do it three more. Four high. Okay. So is that too far now? Is that gonna be too far? That side? That's too far. Let's let's knock one row of blocks. There, that's better. Okay, now I'm just going to join this up. Now, hopefully, I'm going to attempt to put the roof on with wood. Uh, wood is really bad at. Let's let's do some of that. Sorry, it was just so dark. I got to go into uh, night vision. I know the green sucks, but at least I can see. Right, we can see. Okay, let's float up so we can get a better view of what's going on. You can see my 
the castle walls, some meteorites off in the distance. Uh, and that's going to be my uh, machine shop over there, my vehicle workshop. So let's get the cafeteria built. No more lolly gagging. Get these walls up. Okay. And then I'm going to attempt to just do the roof in one shot without any pillars. I might have to do a pillar up the middle. And really, that's not a bad idea anyway. Should probably do a pillar up the middle. Okay, where's the middle? Middle looks like there. So it's in line with the windows. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a pillar anyway. So in line with the windows and over one? Where's that? Over one? That'll work. Put it there. Three, four. Okay, so this will help uh, strengthen the roof. And this is actually just a floor that we're putting in. We're not actually doing the roof yet. The roof will come later on. So right now we're just going to fill this in. We can always puncture holes through and put elevators up through later. And okay, let's go into structural integrity. Woo, with night vision, that doesn't work. So let's turn the night vision off. And okay, so we've got to get these in. That helps, there we go. We're gonna be able to do this, no problem. It's not gonna collapse. Okay, excellent. Look at that. Now, now we're, we're cooking with Mazzola. Okay, I mean, yeah, that pillar is not 100% centered, um, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So you can see the structural integrity is bitching and complaining about some of my integrity. Anything bright green is solid. So those tower bases, solid. Right there, there's a one of the blocks below is not got a very solid footing and that's causing that dark line uh, same with all this wood you can see wood just doesn't like it this right here why it's dark is actually this isn't necessarily on dirt this has been stilted up a little bit and then this area here is all on dirt that's why it's solid green um, i didn't care so much here because um yeah, I wasn't going to be like landing ships or so. Well, I, at least not big ships. At least I don't think so. Okay, so this is creating a huge, huge deck area there. Um, so there we go. Let's... Okay, I'm not going to worry about the structural integrity because it didn't collapse. Uh, let's go back into night view. Uh, I think I want the bulk of this to be window. So let's dig this out or pop it out, I should say. So let's go. Let's do this. One, two, three, right up to the ceiling. One, two, three, one, two, three. See if this collapses on my head. All right. Well, that, that pillar that I put in should help quite a bit to keep this thing from collapsing. And actually the windows will actually create a little bit of stability too, once I get the windows in. And doors do too, for some reason. I guess it's the framing. Okay, so... Oh, I went too far there. I want to actually have a runner of wall right there. Okay. 
Okay, so let's come right across with our... Now I've been doing the single pane look because it, I like the... I like it. Um, I'm going to continue with that theme throughout the whole place. I'm not going to do double sized or anything like that. I'm going to do the single pane and it's just what I, what I like. Okay, there we go. We've got, we've got wooden warehouses. <laughs> That's what it's looking like. I know. Okay, that's not going to be like that for long. I I am going to put roofing, some roofs on on these that'll that'll make it look not so um, blocky, so to speak. So let's put let's put a door. Let's put a door in here, right here. Get my doors. How many do I got on them? Good, I got some. And then, so this is going to be, that was all, those were on the inside. So that has to spin around. Okay. Okay, and you can see my temperature just dropped down to 22 degrees again. So I'm, I'm sealed up again. And that's how easy it is to seal places. I mean, it's, I just created a large room, a, a large sealed room because we're on a, uh, a planet with an atmosphere uh, that we can breathe. We don't actually have to put ventilators in at all. Uh, so that's actually really awesome about this planet is, is you can breathe the atmosphere. Okay, so I think I wanna do the same thing over here. I want to knock, uh, I want to go one in. And then I'm going to leave the, the side one there, make the corners a little bit more robust that way. Not that it actually matters, probably, but. Okay, and then we, oh, we want windows. Let's pop the concrete out. And spin that. Oops, no, stop it, there. Okay. And yep, resealed. Okay. And then we'll pop a door right here. Boom. And resealed again. Okay, good. Okay, so now we'll, we'll do some painting and texturing. Uh, it's really hard to do that at night, unfortunately. And we're, we're far from having daylight, so. Uh, so where should I put some lights? I think I'm gonna have to put a light directly on the window. And then I want to put another one over here. And we're going to want another one right there. And then we want another one there. And then above the door again. Uh, and then we'll have one, do I have it there or over here? Do one there. 
Okay, I gotta get out of the night vision. Ah, see, and it's twisted. Because I couldn't really see. That was stupid. Let's just pop that off. Okay, so now let's try this again. And we twist it. And so right there. And then right there. Okay. And then again right there. And then right there. And then we'll do one more in the middle. Oh, we'll do one more right there. And one more right there. Okay. Okay, so now we've got some outdoor lighting. It's a little dark on that end. That's okay. That's okay. So now we've got some outdoor lighting. Uh, we need some, oh, let's remove that. Let's get some more lighting in here. So we'll do, what did we do down here? The one, at least one, okay. So I could do one, one I think. Let's do that and then Let's try and find the middle or what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So if we do two, one, two, three, four, plunk, and then one, two, three, four, oh, that's, no, okay. So if I do three and three, okay, so let's try this again. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, there we go. There we go, okay. And then we want, we want, we want one to the side, we want here, and then we want another one there, okay, and then we can put lighting on all four sides of this post. And this should really brighten it up. Yeah, it's already coming to life here. Okay. Um, and then we're going to, oh yeah, we can't put a light because that's taking that whole block. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. And that's taking that block. So I guess we do ceiling lights then. So we're going to go with these pot lights. So I want to line it up with that light and we do one, two, and then should we like get it in the middle of those two? No, it's not going to work like that. Uh, okay, so let's use these lights. One, two, three, four, five. Get one there in between, and then, and then we'll just continue that along. So, right, right there, yep. Okay, and then we line it up with that one, and continue that. And then, and we'll, we'll match those on the other side of the pillar. So, uh, this one's hard to figure out. So that's, 
that one. It's right here. Yes. Okay. And then. Uh, okay. So let's get down the center piece. So that's one out. So there. And then there. And then there. And there. Okay. And then you know what? We need we need ones even we need more. We need more, so we're gonna do those right to there. There. There and oh I ran out. Okay. Okay, well at least it's a lot brighter in here. Let's get some cooking while I so devices, going to builder and we get our lights. Let's make a hundred more. We'll take those. Okay, so there, 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 and mm. that one there. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, now do we do the center one here too? Yep. Okay. So let's see how many lights are made. 12. Okay. Take those. So, and then we need one there. I know it's probably way too much lighting, but it's a, it is a cafeteria, so um, it's not a romantic restaurant. There'll be a more formal dining in the, uh, in the large building up at the top of the mountain once I construct that, so. Okay, uh, nice. I don't have any deco made. I don't actually have enough plastic down here to make deco. So, and I need grow plots. I need a bunch of food and I need plastic. So it sounds like I need to go up to the supply depot in space and get all that stuff. In the meantime, let's paint this up. Get all this painted. Okay, you can see it nice, it stands out quite a bit more when the, uh, I actually like the look of all the window frames. Um, I don't know, it, it gives it, it gives it a, a modern look yet contemporary too. Okay. Okay, so there we go. This is the cafeteria. Uh, now it needs all the deco installed and the equipment. So it's going to need fridge. It's going to need a uh, food processor and, and uh, seating and, and like a bar and stuff. So uh, let's get this painted. Apply the whole block. Here we go. There we go. Just like that. I don't want to hit the windows because the windows will actually take brown paint. The walls and floor won't because the texture is non-paintable. But oops, and see I got I didn't want to get that. I didn't want to get the light fixture because that looks gross. So let's, is it just no color? Yeah. 
yeah, the default is pretty much the gray that I'm looking for, so I'm not going to bother painting those. Okay. Oh, did I hit it? Damn it. Nope, good. Pitfalls of painting after you put the lighting in, right? But it's hard to paint without lighting. Okay, this is really starting to take shape here. Um, ah, stop that. Nice. Nice. Stop it. I'm painting all my light fixtures. I don't want to paint my light fixtures. Come on. Trying to be careful not to sling paint everywhere. Okay, so which one did I get? I thought I got a light fixture somewhere. There it is, a little couple of them there. Okay. Go like this, go like that, and like that, and we're done. like we're done coloring and texturing the inside here okay okay so now it needs deco to be fully functional now it needs deco oh that lighting in here makes it nice and bright that's good that's good that's what i was going for and then fairly bright out bright outside so this will be all like patio furniture um, sit outside, have, you know, soup and a sandwich, um, yeah. Now the roof, I think I'll play with the roof another time. So there we go, we've got, we've got that going. We've got that going. So let's head over. I'll show you inside the uh, the hydroponic rooms here. So we've got some simple simple windows. Very simple and rustic looking. I, I wanted to keep that rustic look to it. It's hard to see. You can't really see the texture when or the uh, the paint and everything but you, you get the object of it so it's all wood except for the outer wall of course so be interesting this uh, depression here is where all the grow plots are gonna be uh, be sunk into so each one can accommodate six sets of grow plots and what I mean by sets is one um, light can do nine grow plots so six times nine is 54 so 54 grow plots in this room and then so I'm not going to have to worry about stairs because grow plots will be right up to that level and then again, identical in that room there. So another 54 grow plots. So I'm going to need 108 grow plots. Okay. And I'll need to get in there. I think I've already textured everything and painted everything in there. So, so I think this area is ready for 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Before I put the grow plots on, I'm going to screw with the roof. And I'm going to try and get the roof sorted out because if it collapses and, cl and wipes out all this area, I don't want it wiping out the grow plots because they're a bit of a pain in the ass to create. Everything else I can just, I just have. And it's just basic materials, but the grow plots are a bit of a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to put those in until I get the roof done. So I guess there's no urgency getting the grow plots done. Um, and is that the right texture? Yeah, just need to color this. So you can see I have a lot of painting and texturing and, and work overall to do on the rest of it I'll, let's just go upstairs and show you what's going on so I'm gonna go right to the top so this comes inside of the upper globe of the tower of one of the towers of the um, it's too bad it's dark out right now because you it would be spectacular uh, you can see this is a pretty cool chamber and there's an identical tower right next door. You can't see it because it's too dark, but it is. It's like directly beside us here. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I go into, there we go. So night light. So there it is. There's the other tower. It's, oh, I didn't finish. The windows on the other side, I just have that funky diamond shape I want to get rid of because the texturing doesn't work properly on it. And I like the windows anyway, you can see out. So pretty spectacular view, but this isn't going to be the best view. So I still got to put the parry up. Uh, on that wall, finish that off. I need to get the machine shop built. Um, so lots to do stair here. Let's just go downstairs. Lots and lots and lots to do. Here, let's just turn night lot off now. So this is, I made a little walkway connecting the two towers with some windows looking out um, so this is the other tower so that goes up to the other room I don't, I don't need to show you that it's pretty much identical to the other tower and then this goes all the way down to the basement which is where my uh, parking garage is um, and my workshop the generator room uh, the furnace. So, hmm. Let's head out here. Step out, out into the open here. Whew. Too dark, can't see. Let's do some night vision. So this upper deck here, they, this is going to be the main, one of the main building structures. Uh, so a lot of work to do there. Um, kind of looks funny with the wood, but eh, we'll see. I gotta, I gotta dig this out more and get this all the way. I want this flat all the way, at least up to the end of here, at least. So I got to dig all this out. Um, and then here, can we get up here? Can I jump up high enough? No. Nope. Can I get up here? Yep. Okay. So, up over here. So, right up here is where the large tower is going to be this is actually going to jet straight up 
and I actually have a funky idea for this. I want to create some structural integrity to allow it to go really, really freaking high. So in order to do that, I think I want to pull train up. That's kind of trippy. Let's see if I can do it straight below me. That's pretty trippy. It's hard to see how far I am from falling. Let's bring my... Ooh. <laughs> some more bring up some more dirt here we'll just bring up some more dirt bring up some more dirt hmm no that's not what I want at all Actually, I don't want any of that dirt. Let's get rid of this. Oh. Huh. Floating dirt. Floating dirt. Floating dirt. Is it, just, is it gonna collapse on me now? Okay, let's get rid of this. It's getting too light out. There's, I'm actually on a slab of floating dirt. <gasps> oh, this gives me an idea. I make a floating tower? That you can only access by CV, by SV? Huh. Let's see. No, I'm curious. Now I'm really curious. Can I? Here, let's let's connect to base. Come on. There we go. Connect to Wind Castle. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Need all this. Now can I can I build like see it it'll let me put a block there? Huh. Really? No way.
Oh my god. That is trippy. Oh, if I pull this up high enough and then pull it over, I can distribute it, make make flying spires. Floating spires. Okay. Okay, now now I hmm. Yeah, this will work for the ground castle. Maybe I'll do a second floating castle. Right? Because this is like, oh my freaking god, really? Okay, how frickin' cool is that? Really? That is so cool. Why did I never think of that before? <laughs> Let's I just get rid of this now. Gonna gonna collapse on me if I get rid of it. <laughs> it didn't. Okay, what about if I uh let's try this. I may die. I may fall to my death. Okay, if I Oh my god. Awesome! Well, now I know how to get structural into. Oh, but I did I just get. Re oh, do I have any of it showing? Ah, crap! Okay, I gotta bring it back up. That was stupid. So let's filler, and then we just go straight up with it, right? Yes, we do. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have cleared it all. I should have left some. Why didn't I ever do this before? Or even think of doing something like this. So the the fake dirt that's created by the filling tool. Now, is it going enough? Did it go enough? No, can I push it up more? Can it go more? Is it doing it? No, do I have to pull it over? And then up. Oh, I can make like some weird thing. There we go. Okay. Okay. So I think, I think, I think I may explore that possibility more of having of having floating structures. It definitely looks like it's capable. Oh. Go to my. Food, get some food. Because I'm technically standing on my base right now. <laughs> uh, that's trippy. That's, that's super trippy. If nothing else, at least I can use it to stabilize. Um, I can make like a, a shaft filled with dirt 
to create structural integrity like super high. That way I can make like a tower that just goes up and up and up and up. Okay, that's pretty exciting. I'm going to definitely have to work on that. So I got to dig this out, flatten it out, get my tower up here started, uh, get that, get that dirt spear going all the way up as far as I can. I think I want to try and max out my 300 meters from the core. Um, so that should be interesting. That should be interesting. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it here. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Next video, we're going to continue to probably work on this area off camera. I'm going to, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the roofing for this figured out. I'm going to get the medical um, structure set up that's going to be all in this area here is going to be the med medical area. Um, it's not going to go very high. It's just going to be basically as high as the lower wall there. Uh, and then I want to get that building built there too. Um, got to tear down sections of the wall there, build the tower and get that up fairly high. That's going to be my um, mechanical shop, machine shop. So yeah, got lots of work to do. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Just It's going to take me probably all of Alpha 6 to finish this. At least I'm hoping I can get this done by the time Alpha 7 goes public. That's my goal. I might have to take a break every once in a while to go smash a POI, but you're going to see me working on this quite a bit. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. And until then, have fun and ciao for now.